Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. It's been a while. My kids are playing alone in the bathroom. I'm sure that'll be fine. And I am on that grind for Skinky Poo, the British regular tech tree. It's what, rank 4, battle rating 5? Sounds pretty nice. So we'll take our 5.0 lineup and go do lots of stuff. In fact, what we're going to be doing is camping the entire time in the Achilles and that is for several reasons. I was at the time in the midst of juggling three children and I just made brunch for them and they were making their individual demands as they do. I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy these days, which is the main reason you're not hearing my voice all that often. <laughs> it's been, what, like two months since the last time I talked to you guys? And, uh, well, I miss it. And I know that most of my audience is gone, but I'm really thrilled to see you guys on the Discord, just interacting a tiny bit in that ghost town, and it, it really brightens my day. So... We are going to be grinding for the, the the skink. I've lost my train of thought. I had all these things I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about my beans. I wanted to talk about my corn and planting pumpkin seeds. So let's talk about gardening while we drown out Am I Gardener in the background of this video. I was listening to some gardening videos as you do. We're getting into bean planting season. I think we're already out of bean planting season. But, you know, I, everything just kind of happens a little bit slower here on the coast anyway. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm preoccupied, okay? The, the appointed times and dates often slip by unnoticed. And, uh, what day is it today? Is it Friday? It's Saturday? Uh, September? <laughs> I feel like Patrick the starfish now. Um, but plants. I have... I looked at my yard one day and I was like, grass barely grows here. I want to I wanna make this soil better. And at the same time, I wanted to learn. Because anybody can pay, you know, your dump truck neighbor to back their dump truck and uh, dump some stuff out of it onto your lawn and things will start growing better just by virtue of you pouring money onto your onto your lawn and that's completely fine I think it's a great idea to get a bunch of vegetable material you know maybe uh, maybe dead corn plants or dead bean plants or whatever all mulched up and thrown on your lawn and then mix in a big old dump truck load of compost from Eugene not the stuff they scrape off the sidewalk that you know you might get feline AIDS from that or HIV 12 or or whatever what is it hepatitis a new you know they're I think they're going into the Greek letters with hepatitis now and it's all thanks to the city of Eugene thank you Eugene in Portland for defining just how disgusting the state of Oregon could be <laughs> but <laughs> I think I'm getting silly here and I just woke up but I missed you guys I've had so many things I wanted to talk about I I'm I'm experimenting you all I love to experiment I love to do new things and I love to learn and I've been doing that in my yard and it really bothered my neighbors for a while and I know it bothered them because they're the kind of neighbors that call the police instead of um, ever talking to you about anything, which is just totally cool and not infuriating at all. But, uh, you know, I think that's helped me to develop some of my character. And uh, I've revealed to myself how, how murderous I am internally in my own imaginations when it comes to personal offenses. But then I calm down and I think about just what's the best thing to do. Um, <laughs> so, I, my yard is looking more and more like a garden now. I have the biggest corn plants growing on the edge of my, of my property. And the deer every morning come 
and select one to brutally, brutally masticate until it's nothing but just shattered husks and broken dreams. And uh, Fat Boy wants me to help him with this bottle. There you go, boy. Okay, go work. I love you. He is getting so big. He said thank you. He's getting so big now. He's going to be three in June, and he's just, he's, he's built like, like a, he's built like a strong little man. He, he's got this, like, wide chest and this wide back, big shoulders, huge hands, and he's just always working. He's such a happy kid. He's, he has such a straightforward way of thinking and he just he's he's gonna be such a such a happy man i'm so glad because uh you know i think this family has enough dysfunction in its past <laughs> we can have a normal kid right just one and my goblins are doing well too the girls are great they're so full of life and uh I'm going to segue off from my gardening. You get the impression. I'm disturbing and bothering the neighbors. It's starting to uh, almost bear fruit, except for the fact that I haven't locked it off from the deer intentionally. They drop me fertilizer every day. They break my dreams just a little bit, which is great for building my fortitude, you know. And then I can just expect to get nothing in terms of a, of a crop yield so that then when I get nothing in terms of a crop yield, I can blame the deer, you see. And then I go, look, they gave me poop. So I can mix that in to my yard and feel like I'm making progress. But the girls, they're doing so well. They're so full of life and joy and a sense of self-worth. To the complete negation of the worth of the people around them. And I have to kind of teach. I don't have to like build my girls up as much as I have to like teach them to think about the feelings of other people. And then just show them that they're precious too. So one thing that Brooklyn's been doing with me. The tank baby of years past has grown into a little tank woman. And uh, gosh she's a cool kid. She's been coming to me at night shortly after bedtime and sitting on my lap and talking to me about what we're going to do tomorrow. And one of the things that she planned with me the day before yesterday was an adventure uh, that is about as, as close to a family vacation as you can convince me to take because, you know, I feel like a, a vacation... It sh it should be fun, it should be relaxing and nice, and planning things and existing so far away from your local infrastructure that you've built up at home, it, it just doesn't kind of fall into that category for me, it's a nightmare. But Brooklyn comes out to me a couple of nights ago, and she came up with this awesome plan to go to, to, go to Florence, to go to Taco Bell, and uh, to go visit mommy at work. She's never seen where mommy works. So we went and I took Zoe and Brooklyn, my little goblins, my little girls, my tiny women, and loaded them up in the car and left Fat Boy with uh, Uncle Jeffy. And he hung out and they had a great time. And, uh,. I just had an absolute blast. I, it was so great to bring them and surprise mommy at work. And she works with like a bunch of tiny women in the post office. So this there's like three tiny women that come out and see the girls, and then they go back and they get they get mommy, and she's like not expecting to see us. She's like, my kids aren't out there. And then she comes out, and she's like, my babies. <laughs> so it was it was great. <laughs> and then. We went to we went to Goodwill, and that's a second-hand store. And I spent almost a hundred dollars just buying crap. And I'm like, do I need this stuff? And then I brought it home, and Fat Boy digs into it, and he's like loading all this stuff up in the basket and carting it around, and like the stuff spills out of it, and he. He, he bends his little chunky body over and he puts the stuff back in the basket and he starts carting it around again. And I'm like, you know what? We need all this stuff. I, I, got, I got some neat things. I got some filing cabinets. I got a, 
I got a bunch of items that the girls brought to me, you know, dress up stuff. And they found out that they really don't like fake eyelashes, which is just, um, that alone is worth the trip. But, <laughs> but, uh, we had a really great time. And I did some metal casting with my brother on my birthday. Now, there's no connection here, by the way, other than the fact that those filing cabinets are probably going to come in handy. I'm, I'm going to have to have a place to, to organize some things. And the next bid project is going to be turning my garage into... Uh, a little bit more of a workshop like it used to be so really all I have to do is get all of my random cluttery shit out of there and that my friends is a pretty big pro that's like a month project that's like a project of the month for me in fact it's an old project of the month from a few months ago that never really happened because I, mean, I just don't have time for stuff and I don't want to throw all of that stuff away because a lot of it doesn't belong to me. So, eh, project for another time. But we had a good run. We're making progress. And I'm glad I was able to talk to you all today. A little bit of catching up. And you can tell that I missed you guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.